Hey everyone, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. I uh, made some rookie YouTuber mistakes. I uh, recorded a whole video and then accidentally deleted it. But uh, I have got a new setup here. So I actually have a real cab now. I got a 210. And uh, so you hear a little bit of a real, uh, real representation. So uh, back here, I'm going to go through the uh, five-way selector on the John Mayung. Uh, unlike every other bongo that has a pickup blend, this one has five positions, so one, two, three, four, and five. And now uh, let's just go through them real quick, uh, do some finger style and some pick style, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, we're in the first position here, that's uh, uh, hum canceling on the on the neck. So I think it sounds kind of like a P bass, so let me let me know what you guys think. Take a pick up. Back to fingers. Okay, really like that. Very much of a P bass sound. So let's go to the second. Get the full of the neck pickup with I think just a little bit of the uh, rear pickup, the bridge pickup blended in. That sounds pretty good. A lot more growl on that, a little more higher attack. That left definitely a lot less of that round P bass kind of tone. So let's uh, go to the middle, uh, number three position. That's both pickups on full. I think this is what John's is set to. Like he, his only has one knob, one volume knob, and all the other pots are, are rounded off. He just uses. Uh, actually, noticed watching a video the other day live at Luna Park that his is oh, a single coil in the front, and. Um, the full bridge pickup, so, you know, a little bit of difference, but, you know, that was a few years ago, so. Okay, here's both pickups with fingers. So I like that one. That's the one I've been using the most. You get the fullest, kind of most balanced sound. So uh, let's go to the fourth position. So this is, uh, I think it's the full bridge, both pickups, and then a little bit of the neck blended in. Thank you. 
You got a lot more ground there, closer to that typical music man sound. So. fifth position I believe this is a uh, hum canceling on the back uh, bridge so this would be like a single coil I don't, I don't really know what to describe it kind of like a you know a jazz bass with just all rear pickup so music man definitely sequence like that you don't see a huge difference but uh, let's keep the pick and let's uh, you just heard five so here let's go all the way forward to one uh, describe this as like a P bass kind of sound so okay back to five difference there so uh, let's do the same thing with a finger style let's do two position two okay go to four See, there you get it. You get a lot of difference in sound between one, three, five there. So, uh, I guess I'll give it a one, three, five with a pick. tone possibilities with just five positions there so uh okay kind of interesting thing is you definitely lose track so you find yourself probably going to one and back or five and back to find where you're looking for so i want to do two now two is nice here's four a lot of difference in that. 
So yeah, I just wanted to put together another video, uh, just kind of, you know, this bass has a lot to it, so I want to explore and compare in, uh, you know, not too dramatic. I didn't play any, you know, different kind of play styles, just a regular finger pluck technique, and then I'm with the pick, through the five pickup, so you get an idea of kind of the difference in that. Uh, I'm going to make a lot more videos or do uh, comparisons. Uh, I got a, you know, a Warwick Streamer Stage 2 here we'll compare it to, or a regular Stingray. Uh, play with some different settings. I'll talk more about my amp and everything. I just wanted to keep everything, do as many videos as I can with this thing static so you can really hear the difference of just what the bass can do on its own without, you know, fiddling because, you know, we could play with the amps and knobs all day to get different tones. Uh, but I think more interesting is, you know, what the bass can do just on board. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, like, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, you'll see more videos and get some more uh, people interested. And uh, definitely come out with more videos, you know, at a better pace. Now that I've worked through some, you know, opening night jitters. Okay, thanks everyone for watching.